M0 FXB. So you've bought your jumbo spot. Uh, it's got an MMDVM board on top and a Pi Zero underneath. It's in a little black box. You've got it home and it's already got the SD card in. So you just want to get the thing connected. Uh, we're going to do a, for a DMR radio here. So the first thing you do is take the SD card out of the side of the jumbo spot put it into your adapter and plug it into your computer so that you know it will come up on your my PC and you'll see that normally an F drive so what you need to do is add your Wi-Fi details into that so go to pistar.uk go to this list here and look down for Pistar tools and this one is called Wi-Fi Builder so select that this is basically going to create a file with your uh, broadband router details username and password that you can put into that SD card so let's just put anything here for now and so that's your username this is your password you hit submit there you are you've got this file so you want to get this file into your drive so just sh click show in folder you can right click send it to or you could copy and paste it so you've, you've done that now what you want to do is uh, put the SD card back in your jumbo spot and then reboot it turn it on and off so now your jumbo spot is communicating with your wireless network make sure that your computer that you're on are all on the same network so now you want to talk to it so the quickest way to communicate with it is to go into your search bar here and put in pi small text dash in the middle str and a, a, a line like this forward slash line and hit enter so this is the first thing you'll see because at the moment PyStar doesn't know what you want to do with it so go into your configuration the password is pi or lowercase star and no line and raspberry and that's for all Pi Stars. Okay, sign in. So there you go. You can see you get the, the basics as soon as it boots up. Now I've only I've only d ever done a simplex one, so that's I I don't have to change anything here. Obviously, you need to put in your call sign here and the frequency of your hotspot now we're gonna put this frequency into our DMR code plug in a minute but for now we're just setting up the hotspot now if you look here let's have a look now at the moment um, it hasn't it hasn't told us what our board is yet our jumbo board or allowed us to ent enter what that board is should I say so the first thing we'll do is we'll just put in our call sign um, and we'll, we'll hit apply here because we need that section to appear so we've got our call sign at the moment we don't really need to do any of this at the moment so we're going to hit enter So it's applying the changes. I'm going to let this video run live so you get an idea of how long everything takes. So it's a couple of minutes.
right, it's coming to the last part. You can fast forward past that part. So you come back to the screen. Right. Okay. Now this time, we've applied it once. You've got this part here called radio mode M type. And that's basically is there's there's many other types of hotspots that use Pi star, but we want to use our jumbo spot on this one. So hit the arrow and go down to this one here. This is the one I always use for jumbo spots. So just remember that one. Um, we've got our call sign in. Now we can also select the screen type. So if you've got the small little blue screen, hit OLED 3. If you had a Nextion color screen, you would hit Nextion and then just connect that to your jumbo spot and we'll cover that in a separate video. But for now, it's the little small blue one. Uh, we'll choose DMR. When it, we'll tell it to reboot and when it reboots, it will ask for our, our DMR ID number because without the correct DMR ID and correct ham call sign, um, it won't work. We're going to hit apply and then painfully we're going to let that reboot again and we're, we're doing this live so you get an idea of how long it all takes. Eventually, we'll we'll go into the settings of my RT3S DMR radio and my AnyTone, and I'll show you the settings in my code plug for my hotspot. The good thing about having a a dual band DMR radio is you could have two hotspots in there. Um, it would only receive one at a time. I mean you could do it with uh, with with an MD380 you could put two hotspots but you would uh, just when you create a zone you would create in one of the zones you would create channels with a with a different frequency because you can run two hotspots on a different frequency leave them both running and then you can change from one to the other using the radio and that way you could cover maybe two slots or one hotspot could be Brandmeister another one could be Phoenix right we're back on so um, it's now going to ask us for our DMR ID I'm not going to change that but look you put your DMR ID here very important otherwise no one will hear you my ham call you it's now selected you know the the right hat the right screen now it defaults at BM United Kingdom 2341 which is Brandmeister system and that's fine because that's very good so once you're into that then in your code plug you would be setting up you know where you want that to go but that this is a good starting point for Brandmeister so this is all great so now just hit dashboard and these are some of the old course on how but what will you'll, you'll know when you're connected because it will say here connected it'll give the frequency of your hotspot these are just the uh, you know the type of hat you've got it will show your DMR ID here so you're ready to go now um, so what we'll do, we'll, we'll go straight into uh, my Anytone code plug. So let that fire up. I haven't touched this for ages. So let's go into channel. There's your different zones first. There's your different zones. It makes sense to set up one zone that's just going to have all your hotspot stuff. So there's a zone. 
double click my Brandmeister zone and you'll see where I've added all the different talk groups that I want to use in Brandmeister but the first thing you've got to do is create that channel so I'm not doing this isn't a um, to teach or code plug stuff but it's more about setting up the jumbo spot but if you look at my Brandmeister channels scroll down There's so many channels in here down we go a bit too far a lot of people just add a, a, a pre-made code plug and then they tweak it this is like one that I wanted for my own use so I'm trying to find Brandmeister okay here's one here Uh, let's double click. Right, Brandmeister Talk Group 9. Double click that. So, in here, I've added the frequency for receive and transmit for Brandmeister, as you can see. I've selected Talk Group 9. Now, you could have a hundred different talk groups in your memory there of this code plug, but this is talk group 9, it's digital, simplex, you need to get the correct color code for your, it's normally one and one, slot one, but you need to get the right one. If it's a repeater, the only thing that's different is these, one would be input, one would be output, but your hotspot is effectively a, a simplex repeater. So you'll have your own call sign here as well that'll be standard with your code plug so th basically to, it, to add that jumbo spot you're creating a simplex channel choosing which talk group you want to connect to a lot with a hotspot do just use number nine and then they choose they use the radio to change things um, let's have a look at Retivis now so Retivis is more an MD380 have a look if there's anything in this one. Oh, I think it's blank. Let's see if we can open it up. File, open. Let's choose one of these. Got so many, but anyway. So, yeah, there's your zone. There's Brandmeister, where I've added all the different channels. So, we need to look at a channel because that's basically how we're setting up our hotspot so let's go to here's one here BM 2350 so what I've done is I've entered very similar to the Anytone I've named the channel which is what you'll see on your radio Input output input output frequency is the same because it's simplex. You've got to choose the color code and the slot, and then contact name is basically the talk group. So if you go like this, you add you basically add talk groups. Um, but so you choose the one that you want to be on that channel because each each zone can have several channels, and you can add talk groups like talk group ninety one and things like that, and just add in the ones you like so hopefully if you get a, a view here you'll get an idea channel and then what you do is you put the channel into your zone that, that's the idea there's your zone so you go back to the zone you've created the channel when you've created the channel it appears here and you'll find if you've got a pre-made code plug there'll be thousands here or hundreds so let's just say you've just created your hotspot you just click it here add it across and then it here and then when you send it all to your radio it will appear in each zone so anyway I hope this helps um, just uh, me playing around with jumbo spots M0FXB please please subscribe